Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about unary operators. So, what is an unary operator? An operator which operates with a single operand, you call it as unary operator. So, in this video, we are going to see in detail about unary operators. So, before going to unary operators, we will see generally what are the arithmetic operators available. You have unary, binary and ternary operators. Unary operator, as we said, it will operate with single operand. Binary operator operates with two operands and ternary operators operates with three operands. You can see what is an operand and an operator with this example c equal to a plus b. In this case a and b are the operands and in between an operator is there that is a symbol used that is an operator and then you got an assignment operator which will store the ex uh, expressions result into the variable in the left hand side. Okay. Next you are going to see in detail what are the unary operators available. So first operator you are going to see is unary plus operator. This will uh, indicate a number as a positive number. Okay, If you do not use this plus opposite never mind it will be same. Uh, it is a positive number. So it is uh, by, uh, by default you no need to use plus sign in front of any number or expression Okay, since it is positive. Next is unary minus operator which will uh, negate uh, uh, expression or a number. So, if you put a minus sign in front of a number, it will become a negative number. So, you can call it as a negation symbol. So, it is unary minus operator. Next is increment operator which will increase the uh, value by 1. So, if you put plus plus uh, in front of the variable or after the variable, you can say that it is increasing the value by 1 every time. Okay. Next is a decrement operator that is minus minus if you use it in with the, with the variable it will decreases the value by one every time you execute that statement then finally you have a not operator uh, which is a logical operator which will invert the value in a boolean expression so if an expression uh, returns true this no operator not operator will converts into false if the expression is false it ret returns true so this will invert the value so we are going to see some examples of uh, prefix increment and postfix increment same way prefix decrement and postfix decrement so we will see what are the uh, uh, difference between these so first we will see an example x equal to 10 then you got a variable y which stores the result now y equal to plus plus x this is called as prefix because plus plus is used in front of x that is the variable so it will first change the value of x and then store it into y that means the value of x is 10 in it increases the value by uh, 1 that will become 11 and then stores the value into y that means both x and y will have the same value 11 so that's how the output is so x equal to 11 and y equal y also is 11 next is postfix increment operator here you got the same example you can see that y equal to x plus plus that means that uh, plus plus uh, increment operator is used after the variable so what here it will do is it will first uh, execute the statement and then change that means here it will store the value of x that is 10 after that it increases the value of x by 1 that is it become 11 so y value will be 10 and x value will increase by 11 that means y value is not changed okay next is prefix decrement operator okay, here you can see minus minus x so it uh, decreases the value first that becomes 9 and then it will store into y so both x and y will have the same value so you can see x equal to you know, x and y both are 9 then postfix decrement operator here x minus minus what happens is it will first store the value uses the value and then it will decrease so x value is 10 that is stored into y first and then it decreases the value by 1 that becomes 9 so 9 uh, is the value stored in x and then y will have 10 now you will see some of the examples ok so here if you have uh, c equal to 2 then what happens and what will be stored in d now you can see a uh, prefix operator and then a postfix operator in the expression so you will see what happens one by one so c value is 2 for the first time now here since it is a prefix operated it will increase the value and then use so that means uh, c value which is 2 will become 3 so you can see 3 here 
then you got a plus sign plus operator and then you got c plus plus this is a post fix expression so you can see that already c value is 3 3 plus 1 should be 4 but since it is post fix it uses the value and then only it will increase that means it uses 3 after which it will increases the value by 1 and then finally we have a constant 4 so this will be the expression 3 plus 3 plus 4 is the exp final expression here when you add all this you will get the result as 10 next you are going to see an example m equal to 12 so here you can see m plus plus which is a post fix expression and then you got the into 5 plus minus minus m that is a prefix expression now m value is 12 since it is 12 and it is a post fix expression okay it uses the value first that means m will be 12 will be substituted here then into 5 plus already uh, after using it it changes the value m value into 13 okay now the m value is 13 here now here you are using prefix decrement operator that means 13 minus minus will be executed first that means it becomes 12 okay the, that's the reason you got uh, instead of 13 you got 12 here so 12 into 5 plus 12 is the final expression now well you can you can use board mass rule that is first you have to multiply then you have to add so here you, when you multiply 12 into 5 it becomes 60 then plus 12 so you got 72 here next expression you can see a equal to 8 and you got a minus equal to plus plus a plus a plus 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 4 so this is the expression now you can write the expression this way so a equal to a minus so this is a shorthand uh, form of writing this expression so a minus and the remaining expression in the right hand side should be written within bracket so once you do this you know as per the board mass rule bracket will be executed first so this is the uh, procedure to do it once you put this bracket you know how to evaluate it otherwise you will get a wrong uh, answer now you substitute the value a value is 8 so 8 minus plus plus a that means it is an increment that is uh, increment operator that is it is prefix increment so increases the value first so it becomes 9 plus and here you got a plus plus it uses the value then increase so it leaves the same 9 here and then later on it will increase the value by 1 and then you have plus 4 so this is the final expression you have now whatever uh, given bracket will be executed first so you are getting 8 minus that uh, expression will be minus 22 and then you have when you substitute that you will get minus 14 ok when you uh, evaluate this you will get minus 14 here you have to be very careful because sometimes you get uh, uh, wrong answer by giving plus 14 ok when you put a number which is lesser than the negative number then you will get a negative sign many of you will be doing this ok so be careful when you use a negative sign you have to put a negative uh, that is minus operator ok negation operator in front of the number if you want to get the full marks next you have an expression where uh, a equal to 12 and b equal to 8 so you got two variables and then as usual you have a asterisk in the left hand side then uh, plus plus a divided by 6 plus b plus plus percentage 3 now you can write the expression this way a into within bracket the remaining expression is given ok now you have to substitute the value so a value is 12 so a uh, 12 into plus plus a so it increases the value first so 12 becomes 13 divided by 6 plus b plus plus since it is post fix you use as the same value that is 8 then percentage 3 now as per the rule uh, board mass rule it will be bracket first so whatever given in the bracket so in the bracket also you got three operators so in this three operators uh, division and modulus will have the same priority so that will be evaluated first then finally uh, plus sign so first 13 divided by 6 will give you the quotient that is 2 and here you got a plus sign that will be used as it is and then you have a modulus operator which will give you the remainder which is again 2 ok so after that you have to add this so it will become 4 now 12 into 4 is 48 I hope you understood about unary operators we will see in the next video thank you